in angular application if we want to interact with the server we use http client in the service to send the request to the server and this is the very normal way to do it hello uh, my name is rakesh so today in this video i will talk about custom http client why you should use this custom http client in your angular application and what is the benefit of using this custom http client and how you can use it so be with me i will catch you in the next section of this video welcome back guys so let me quickly show you that uh, how you can uh, use uh, http client in uh, angular uh, service so for that i need to create one uh, service uh, in angular application uh, this is my angular application newly created using angular cli and i'm using uh, angular uh, version 11 right now uh, so let me quickly uh, go to my uh, terminal and i type uh, ng serve hyphen hyphen hmr which is uh, hot module reload in angular 11 uh, quite fast and this is completed let me come back here in my chrome and i use local host uh, so it is using 4200 uh, port so as you see that uh, the application is uh, running fine so let me go back to the vs code and in this uh, app folder i just press right click and i click on generate a service and here uh, i define a name of my service confirm and this generated a new service app service and this file i don't need because this is uh, for the testing purpose i delete it in this app dot service file so here i have to import few packages uh, the first one is uh, http client and http headers and the other one is uh, observable from RA, rxjs and then uh, catch error map tap uh, from uh, rxjs uh, operators and now after that uh, i will have a constructor and then uh, i have uh, one uh, url uh, to fetch the data from the server for that uh, i'm using this uh, random user dot me slash api uh, which is a free version of uh, the user api uh, it returns an, a full object of the user and uh, let me quickly show you that uh, what it uh, returns so i just show you uh, the chrome if i come here and then i just paste it and you see that uh, it returns me this full object of the user so it is quite useful uh, if you are uh, using i mean if you want to use it uh, to mock some data in your uh, application um, and uh, now i come back here and then uh, after this uh, i will uh, have this uh, http client uh, in the constructor and then i will have this uh, get user uh, which is uh, fetching the data from the server and then uh, uh, we are using this tab and then catch error tab just to map the data but right now i'm just consoling it and then this uh, uh, if there is any error happens, uh, then uh, we have this uh, uh, a method to handle the errors, basically, uh, returned by server. So after this, uh, uh, let me uh, first uh, save this, and then I will uh, I will go back to this uh, app dot component, and here I have to first define a constructor, and then call that service which is uh, app service basically and then after this sorry this dot add dot service dot get user and then i have to subscribe this and then resolve 
and then I will console this result in the console log. Just to check that everything is working fine. So let's go to the application and press F12 to see the console. And uh, let me uh, refresh this. And uh, since I refresh, and as you see that uh, this uh, this call is returning uh, results of this user which we are fetching in our service if i come here i see this uh, api slash uh, i mean the the get of this uh, uh, this method and then uh, as you see there as a result uh, we get this all information so <clears throat> so i just wanted to show you that uh, this is the uh, regular way uh, we are using uh, this http client in our uh, services and uh, uh, there is no problem with this actually but uh, imagine that uh, in future your uh, application keep growing and uh, you have uh, like uh, i don't know your number of services increases and uh, everywhere uh, in the services you have to you know you have to uh, write this kind of code and uh, also uh, this kind of code and imagine that uh, once uh, your application increases uh, this kind of code uh, gets uh, duplicate in every file so this is uh, very uh, weird and it is not easy to uh, handle it in the future and uh, it's, it's really a very bad uh, practice so what we can do is to uh, handle this problem we can have our own custom uh, http client uh, which will be uh, another uh, uh, another another uh, uh, you can say another service or another uh, ps file and there uh, we will uh, create uh, each and every uh, method uh, of uh, using the http client and then uh, we will uh, use that uh, http client instead of uh, this HTTP client, uh, which is uh, Angular's uh, own HTTP client. So uh, let me show you quickly uh, how you can uh, do that. Okay, guys. So uh, uh, let's quickly create a custom HTTP uh, client uh, .ps file. Uh, so what I am doing here now, uh, I will just duplicate this file and then i will change the content of this file uh, so just copy and then paste it here so uh, first i will first i will uh, rename this file so i will call it uh, custom http client enter and then uh, i will remove whatever i don't need actually so i don't need this i don't need these two methods uh, i'll be using this http client because uh, yeah i have to uh, use this angular's default http client uh, okay uh, so very first uh, we define uh, this http uh, option uh, options json header which will be uh, requiring uh, in uh, down uh, http methods uh, which we are going to define uh, right now so uh, this will be the content type will be the application slash uh, json and car set uh, u2f8 and then uh, this http options blob is for the this header is for the uh, if you want to upload something you need a request for that so i will uh, use it uh, down there and uh, and this will be the response type will be the blob and the observe will be a response so the very first one is uh, the method is a get and this get it accept this url as a as a param and then it will return uh, http uh, get and then we will pass the url and then the header we will pass this uh, http option json and then uh, we will be using this pipe uh, to uh, to cache the errors and then this uh, this dot handle errors uh, this method we will define at the last of this uh, uh, of this code when when i complete all this uh, get put post or delete methods 
so the second one will be the post same as usual uh, we'll use uh, http post here and the url and the request and then in the request uh, and then this uh, with the pipe uh, we will be uh, having a this uh, this dot handle http errors and then uh, to to catch the errors and then after this uh, we'll have this uh, delete method basically to delete something and then uh, this uh, delete will be using this dot http delete and then similarly error and then the header we will passing this uh, header information this http options .json, and then the pipe and then we catch the errors and after this we will have this put and then in the put method we will same we will have the url and the request and then uh, in the cache error method we'll be using this handle http errors uh, method and then uh, finally we'll have this uh, get blob and then in blob in blob uh, we will be using this url as param and then uh, we'll be using this http get in this and then in the header we'll pass this uh, http option blob uh, which we define on the top and then catch error and then uh, this is for the form data when we want to submit the form and then it will have a two param uh, which will be one is the url and then the form data and then http post we will be using and then we'll pass the url and the form data and then similarly the cache error and then the next one uh, uh, this uh, handle http errors which will be a uh, param will be an error and the type will be the response and then uh, we'll have a switch method uh, we'll check the error status and then on that based on the statuses like for example if the error status is 403 and 500 or 500 then we we will return this this throw method and this throw error method uh, will be passing the error which will be receiving from the uh, from the server and then uh, in case of 401 and 403 uh, which will be in case of unauthorized again i will return through error and then in case of 404 and then by default it's it will be break so uh, this is the thing uh, which we need uh, for our uh, custom http client uh, basically uh, it's uh, it's a uh, uh, normal uh, HTTP requests uh, which we use uh, our uh, application uh, on a regular basis and now uh, we have to change this class to custom HTTP component basically and uh, we added this uh, throw error method here and we don't need this map and type anymore now and we also don't need this observables so i'm get rid of this now uh, this file is uh, pretty much complete and uh, let's uh, change our uh, app.com uh, app.service so instead of uh, this uh, first uh, first of all we don't need this because it's already in the http uh, custom uh, component so here instead of uh, http client we will say uh, custom http component uh, instead of uh, http component it's better to say http client so this is more uh, more specific so instead of component we say client and then and since it's auto import so we have to remove this one and uh, now uh, we will be using we don't need this i think we don't need this because this already uh, this is already uh, doing in the our custom http client basically let's remove this all things we don't need this i will use uh, again uh, return this dot http dot uh, get and then in this get we will say this dot uh, url and save it and since uh, 
hopefully uh, this all are fine so we don't need uh, even this uh, imports here and we also don't need this imports here and we don't need it and uh, yeah so let's save it and uh, i come back to my terminal so i come here and now uh, so basically it's uh, angular http custom client and then i type ng serve to run the file to run the application so it's completed and let's go to our chrome browser mm, yeah so here if i refresh it it's working fine press f12 to see whether our request is going on or going or not so our request has been hit and see the response so the response is there and so the our custom http uh, client is working fine and you see that uh, since uh, we have this all the method is in one place is very easy to uh, maintain in the future when your application grows uh, how do you say this is most uh, beneficial for our application and uh, it's uh, it's very easy to uh, to maintain this kind of uh, uh, code in one place so in this uh, bonus tip guys uh, what you can do is that uh, if the error code returned by server like like 503 or 500 then you can navigate the user to the this route to uh, error view or uh, if it is a uh, 401 or 403 that is uh, unauthorized then you can uh, navigate the user to this uh, route to unauthorized view so let me quickly uncomment this part so you will clearly see that and uh, i hope that uh, this video will be very helpful for you and uh, if you like it then don't forget to share and subscribe i will publish this code uh, on my github uh, repo and uh, the link of that repo you will find in the video uh, description of this video and stay tuned for the next video i will catch you later thank you and have a nice day